Well, to sport everyone, Nat Fife has broken his leg again and surgery will sideline the Brownlow medalist for at least the next eight weeks and there's even a chance he may be rested for the remainder of 2016. Fife arrived in Melbourne a short time ago to visit a specialist tonight, but the bad news doesn't stop there. Lockie Reid explains. Less than 24 hours after breaking his leg, Fife was in Melbourne preparing for the same surgery he had seven months ago. Same leg I broke last time, just above the plate, so I'll have surgery tomorrow and start the recovery process. How long do you hope to be out of the game? Is it a whole season or when will you get back? I'll know more detail tonight after I see the surgeon, but um, look, I'm really hopeful I can get back and play some footy this year. The Brownlow medalist fracturing the fibula in his left leg during the second quarter. He tried to play on but couldn't and finished the game on crutches. He suffered the same injury during last year's preliminary final and had a plate inserted immediately after winning the Brownlow medal. Did it feel like last time you did it? Or? It did. I felt, um, unfortunately, looked very similar to last time. Um, yeah. <laughs> and just a lot of people said it could have something to do with the oval and the astro turf on the side? No, nah, nah, just unfortunate circumstance. Back in Perth, Michael Johnson was putting on a brave face when he arrived for scans. Nah, I think it's close. Um, we'll just go in here and just get checked up and just the routine stuff and um, hopefully it's all good. But there was no good news. Johnson injured both his hamstring tendon and medial ligaments and will need surgery. His season could be over. Calls of concern from onlookers as the veteran was sent back onto the ground in obvious pain. The Dockers fall from grace, unexpected and unexplainable. We're playing some horrible football and we're moving the ball just terribly. Yeah, you can't just rely on one sort of play. So, um, but it's not ideal when you, we have injuries around, around the place. The brand we wanted to build, we haven't built. We've built something totally different, so it's back to the drawing board. Down the road, West Coast will spend a few days working out why they can't beat premiership contenders like the Swans away from home. They haven't won in Sydney since 2007. It's been longer against Hawthorne and Geelong. Jared Wellingham catching up with an old mate, Buddy Franklin, throughout the game. Yeah, there was a little bit of um, to and fro there. Um, both of our partners were here in Perth for a wedding, so... Um, he let me know that they were going to be watching when he took that mark on me. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he nearly got that 50, but the umpire was onto him as well, which I, which I was grateful for. He plays his old teammates from Collingwood this Sunday at Domain. Lockie Reed, 10 Eyewitness News.